Uh, hey guys, I uh, wanted to do this quick uh, screen capture so that we can help you as uh, you and your team are uh, evaluating uh, the platform. So as soon as you log in, you'll see uh, your you know, pre-created uh, network. So all you have to do is click on access your network and then you will see uh, these uh, you know, five option sessions, drive, admin, permissions and partnerships. Sessions are you know, where you'll see the upcoming and the past sessions and the ability to uh, quickly create uh, a one-time session or a permanent session and I mean as, as you're going to play around uh, you can see you know how effective these uh, these parameters that we offer are uh, I mean you can check the additional settings where you can auto record the class allow participants to download the recording uh, give uh, the such in a default room view like a layout uh, specifically classroom gallery whiteboard split screen uh, and default permission for participants audio video uh, audio only writing and allow participants to enter without sign up so I'll, I'll go back and if I look at, uh, uh, let's say, you know, a, a sample and a permanent room. So this is what I am going to see. Uh, I would see the three access links, uh, one for the host, one for the moderator, and one for the participant. I mean, you can either kind of you know, simply copy this link and send it across to your learners. A single link would help uh, all the learners to, learners to use and access the classroom. Uh, in addition, what you can do is you can also add files uh, to uh, this room just in case if you would like to share any file prior to the classroom where the students you know once they uh, click on that link they would have access to this file so uh, this is how you're going to simply add the file like this and I'm actually going to show you as to how this is going to Uh, the students actually are going to see the file like this they're going to see the file once they click on that link they can see the file they can quickly you know check the file and if you've allowed download then they can also download the file so this is from the student perspective so let me come back and the moderator link the host link uh, I mean you can see the attendance feedback I mean simply click on here and enter uh, into the session as a host so, uh, also I, I guess I missed the part I mean you can click on participants and simply you know uh, I mean you can click on invite users and add uh, the people who are already in your network uh, to this very classroom so let's go back and come to drive drive is your virtual content uh, uh, library or kind of a digital you know, space where you pre-upload content and have access to it while you're teaching so we give you the option to kind of you know uh, upload files in on an individual basis like this I mean give it a title sample content for use of one and I can share it with uh, I mean anyone or host or everyone or I can list it uh, I mean checking this box would list it on Merita for open use allow download and so on so let's quickly upload this file So the file gets uploaded and it takes uh, a couple of minutes, not more than that, uh, max to max in you know, a five minutes to process and so that you know the, the, the uploaded file is ready to use. So you simply click and you can see a message like this that the file conversion is in process and you can check back again. So uh, into you know, uploading content, we give you the option of 
uh, adding folders so the way the folder option going is going to help you is you upload content and then uh, create this folder and for, I mean for a name for any specific instructor and then go ahead and upload all that you know uh, related content uh, into that folder for that spe specific instructor so that you know it's easier for them to sort of you know simply go to their specific folder and upload I mean uh, use the content which is there so that's how it's going to help and uh, also I mean any uh, for the uploaded content what you can do is I mean you can sort of edit delete download or you can make it public so publicly uh, the content would be available for other users like this and next up is admin when I can click on here to change some profile information from my side let's go back and users is where I can see the different you know users inside my network I can add someone to be the super admin and to be a creator someone to be a member someone just to be a subscriber uh, if you see here uh, the admin or for that matter the creator I can see the creators and you know, the different sessions that they have conducted or uh, the, their drive or I can define you know their roles in my network I can demote them and I can simply go ahead and upgrade them like this so that's about you know managing uh, the already uh, existing uh, invited users and next step is how do you invite users to a network so click on here this icon and we give you uh, the the ability to quickly copy the link and send them an email directly from your inbox uh, any link that you would like and they would be able to join the, your network as an admin creator or a member or you can use the inbuilt you know, email functionality so you can let's say sampler one at g g mail and sample invite simply click I haven't clicked it I'm sorry and then uh, it prompts you to select you know if you would like to select this you send out the invite for a creator role or a member role click on member and the invitations are done you can also import you know a csv with if you have more number of users to invite you can use this very option right so let's go to the network again and uh, admin i mean settings is pretty you know generic basic and then API I guess you know if you're going to use Moodle then we are going to share a specific uh, uh, the API key and some you know, uh, uh, another set of uh, uh, token that you're going to use in case if you were to use the platform within your Moodle LMS and uh, again the last permissions is more from the standpoint of what are the different permissions for this very instructor so and uh, i hope this uh, session uh, kind of really helps and if you have any questions do let us know and we would be happy to help you thank you so much and have a good one